All right, so if you look at this question number 10, we have two equations, y equal to x minus 11 all squared and y equal to 25. Now, in just as basic math rule, if this y, if this y is equal to this and also equal to 25, the same y is equal to two different things, it means those two different things are equal to each other. So I'm able to say x minus 11 squared is equal to 25. I can say that. Now, if you have a square here and you have the 25, the best thing to do here is to do the square root of both sides. Okay. If I do the square root here, I have x minus 11. If I do the square root here, I have plus or minus 5. Now, you're thinking, where did plus or minus 5 come from? Most people will have just said 5 here, but anytime you do the square root of something, it's always plus or minus 5. Plus or minus. The reason it's plus or minus is because... Um, plus 5 times plus 5 will give me 25, and minus 5 times minus 5 also gives me 25. So there are two options there. So we want to uh, evaluate both of those, okay? So I'm saying the x minus one, x minus 11 equal to plus 5, and x minus 11 equal to the minus 5. So I'm evaluating both of these as my options, as options. So what do I do? I move this over to this side. So this is minus 11, it becomes plus on this side. So it's x equal to 11 plus 5, which is 16. Um, so x is 16, and on this side, I, um, you know, you move this over to this side as well. It becomes plus, so x equal to plus 11 minus 5, so x is equal to 6. So what we have, in, what we have here are two solutions for x, um, but the question is asking for an AB point of the point of intersection. So it's helpful to go ahead and kind of graph this out and kind of see what's really happening. So let's think about the graph of x minus 11 squared. Well, x minus 11 squared, right? Yeah, if you think x minus 11, this minus 11, Anytime there is a plus something or minus something in here, inside the parentheses, it has to do with moving an x squared, which is just a parabola, a u, moving it left or right. Now, because this is minus 11, if you were to solve this, for example, if I just said x minus 11, make it equal to 0, x equal to 11, this is telling me the x needs to be at 11. So I'm going to say, oh, 11 is here, and so it's a, it's a parabola because it's, it's an x squared. It usually looks like a u, so it's essentially going to look like this okay is what we're going to have um, and the question then says that the y is 25 we'll just say oh, 25 is somewhere here so we're going to draw a line and it's going to cut there so essentially the a b the question is referring to is right here the point of intersection there and the point of intersection there now think about it the a b that is referring to this is 6 because we got 6 in this math and this is 16 this other one is 16 so you have 6 to 16 so your AB your AB line is just 10 is the difference between 16 and 6 if you say 16 minus 6 is 10 it's 10 from here to here that's what the 10 is referring to so it's very easy with this question to go ahead and pick 16 because look you're getting 16 as a intermediate result when you start solving this question but you need to really understand what it's asking for the AB is the distance between the two points that you get from the intersection of the two graphs um, and that's what you have so the answer here to this question is a uh, by one solving the equation getting your x's and then also seeing where those intersect with 25 y equal to 25 and you know kind of see what that gives us so the answer here is a